Ready to fight. Ready. Yeah. Well, it's a venue that needs no introduction. The world's most famous arena, Madison Square Garden, even for Boston. We have levels of appreciation for the building. I mean, when you walk into MSG, you get chilled because you understand the history that comes with competing in this arena. Oh, my goodness, these boys are going at it. Oh, and now an uppercut. Combinations here. So he continues to use his jab effectively here, DC. He gets that hand to the target pretty quickly. I mean, just right away, blasting the jab after jab after jab. He is a phenomenal boxer with a vast understanding of fighting behind that educated jab. Oh, that's a brutal cut on his nose there. He is bleeding. That takes out attempt without issue. All right, so look at that. A cut has been opened around that eye area. He's taking shots over and over again to that area, and now he's dealing with a cut. Good job defensively to block that punch. Just misses with the straight right. Back and forth we go. So the blood really starting to flow. Every time that area gets targeted, that cut's getting worse. It's getting worse and worse. And you see the blood starting to come down. That is when you start to watch the fighter to see what type of effect it's starting to take on him, whether or not he's reaching for it, whether or not he's confused by where it's at. We got to start to watch his reactions now as we go forward. Well, he has stayed busy and he has stayed accurate. Nice combination. Very accurate, a lot of activity, and the hands look phenomenal tonight. Oh, slips to avoid the right. His nose is all crooked. It's all beat up. It's bleeding. He got hurt bad. That nose looks broken. All right, so a nice straight punch there after he caught the leg. He decides to punch out as opposed to going for any takedowns. Just bleeding like crazy. I wouldn't be surprised to see a stoppage here. So the amount of blood, the amount of blood that is leaking from this guy. It's amazing that he's still standing. He has been beat up thoroughly. Tonight is not going to be his night. Well, his nose is just mangled. The cut appears to be the big issue. Let's get you some replays from that previous round. I mean, he's getting hammered. He's going back to the well over and over again. And why would he not? His opponent wasn't good on the defense. His opponent allowed for him to land too clean. And now, he's just targeting that cut on the nose. You ready to fight? You ready? All right, let's get to round two. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Right back on those leg kicks. Oh, nice kick. Well, confidence is high, I repeat, confidence is high. And I gotta think when you knock a fighter down in the previous round, that's gonna think you can do it again. I mean, confidence is key in anything you do in regards to fighting. So, for him to secure that knockdown early, he has to feel good. Going I'm not sure his opponent knows where he is. No, he doesn't know where he is. He's hurt real bad. I'm not sure if I should knock his fight out here. It seems like he's sort of playing around here. That'll do it! Wow! Wow! With a huge TKO victory! Oh, my goodness. Well, make no mistake about it. He is getting two paychecks tonight as he gets the big TKO victory. Wow. That's unbelievable. 
It, it was crazy to watch his finishing instincts on display as he got that massive victory. It, it was amazing, John. It was amazing. All right, we set it inside for the official decision. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at one minute, 20 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout and intentions. And there is the man of the moment, and what a moment this must be like for a professional athlete, right? I know you enjoyed the birth of your kids, right? But yeah. you knock out a man in a cage fight. I can't think of anything better. I mean, there's nothing like it. You know, you don't even hear the one that lands.